Welcome to your daily devotional for the month of October entitled A Reverent Life from the book My Life Today October 3rd Respect for Authority Respect in my life Honor all men Love the brotherhood Fear God Honor the king. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear and not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. First Peter 2 verse 17 and 18 The apostle plainly outlined the attitude that believers should sustain toward the civil authorities, submit yourselves to every ordinance of men for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme, or unto governors as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the King. It is our duty in every case to obey the laws of our land unless they conflict with the higher law which God spoke with an audible voice from Sinai and afterward engraved on stone with his own finger. The ten precepts of Jehovah are the foundation of all righteous and good laws. Those who love God's commandments will conform to every good law of the land. We are to recognize human government as an ordinance of divine appointment and teach obedience to it as a sacred duty within its legitimate sphere. But when its claims conflict with the claims of God, We must obey God rather than men. God's word must be recognized as above all human legislation. It thus says the Lord is not to be set aside for a thus says the church or thus says the state. The crown of Christ is to be lifted above the diadems of earthly potentates. We are not required to defy authorities. Our words, whether spoken or written, should be carefully considered. Teach the people to conform in all things to the laws of their state when they can do so without conflicting with the law of God. A reverent life October 3rd